Hello guys, how are you today? Today we're going to work in the Smarty Book, okay? So please open your Smarty Book on page number 24. Open your Smarty Book on page number 24. What are, you, what are we going to do here? We're going to listen a song, okay? We're going to listen a song and we're going to uh, try to listen and look at the pictures about this song. Okay, listen carefully, pay attention, please. Track 14, listen and sing. Thank you, nurse. Stay in bed, stay at home. Put a bandage on your knees and on your toes. It's about stay healthy. So we're going to underline some words related to this unit number two. Vamos a subrayar algunas de las palabras relacionadas con el tema de eh, permanecer saludable o estar saludable. Okay? The song, the name of the song was or is thank you nurse. Gracias enfermera. So we're going to underline thank a nurse. Okay? Enfermera. The nurse says, stay in bed, quédate en cama, stay at home, quédate en casa. Put a bandage, ponte un vendaje, put a bandage on your knees and on your toes. Does it hurt? ¿Te duele? Does it hurt? Is it clean? ¿Está limpio? It is red or it is green. The song says it's purple. La canción dice, está morado. Okay, so... We're going to, to write um, after that, okay? We're going to, to write purple. Is it purple or is it green? Clean the cut. You can touch. Now we're fine. Thank you, nurse. Thanks very much, okay? Look, the nurse put a bandage, a band-aid, okay? Does it hurt? Yes, it hurts. It hurts. Duele. Sí, sí, duele. Is it clean? Está limpio. Okay. So, now we're fine. Así estamos más. Así estamos mejor. Okay. Now, we're going to point and name the odd picture. We're not going to point. We're going to circle. We're going to circle the odd picture. So, let me change the tool. And I'm going to take... Um, the red circle, okay? Please, point and name the old picture. It isn't, it isn't, it isn't part of a face. It isn't part of a face. Look at the eye. The eye, is it a part of a face? Is it a part of a face? Is it uh, a part of the Is this part of the face? Yes, it is. The nose, is it a part of the face? Is it a part of the face? Yes, it is. The hand, look at the hand. Is it a part of the face? No, it isn't. So we're going to circle the hand. It isn't a color, okay? Pink color, blue color, a thermometer. This is a thermometer. Is it a color? No, it isn't. No, it isn't, okay? We're going to circle this, okay? Okay, now, before, before we uh, that we answer the next page, we, um, I'm going to show you your October project. Okay, so please come with me. Let me stop. Show this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you your October project. Okay, so please pay attention. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. Okay. 
Okay. The name of the unit two is stay healthy. Stay healthy. Mantente saludable. We're going to practice with these cards. Okay, so pay attention. The new vocabulary is listen to me, repeat after me. Bruce, Bruce, cut, cut. Fever, fever. Headache, headache, headache. That's a headache. Thermometer, thermometer. Bandage, bandage, bandaid, bandaid. Clean, limpiar, clean. Hurt, hurt, dolor, duele, hurt, duele. Okay, if you, as you can see, those are actions. Estos dos son acciones, son verbos, okay? No son palabras o sustantivos como los anteriores. Those words are actions, okay? Estas palabras son verbos. For your October project, you have to make trash cards with the new vocabulary, okay? Vas a hacer tarjetas con este nuevo vocabulario. Recuerda que las tarjetas pueden ser hechas en hojas blancas, cartulina blanca o algún material para reciclar que tengas en casa. No olvides que por un lado va el dibujo y por el otro va la palabra en inglés, ¿ok? Y no olvides plastificar tus tarjetas para evitar que se maltraten o se ensucie. Ok, we're going to stop sharing this screen. Because we're going to get back to your smart book, ¿ok? Let's go again to your smart book. We're going to answer the next page, number 25. What are we going to do here? Look, look. We're going to talk about hurts. Hurts, hurts. Duele, ¿sí? Duele, ¿sí? Duele. Me duele. Esto me duele. No es lo mismo que un dolor de cabeza. Por ejemplo, te dije que es headache. Headache, ache. Es dolor, headache, dolor de cabeza. Hurts, hurt, es un verbo, es otro verbo que significa doler. For example, a bruise hurts. A bruise hurts. Un raspón duele. A bruise hurts. A headache hurts too. Un dolor de cabeza, obviamente, pues duele también, ¿verdad? Recuerda, ache. Es dolor, pero ache es un sustantivo, mientras que hurts es un verbo, sí, es una acción. Don't, don't, uh, don't forget about this, okay? Now, we're going to listen and answer, okay? Then look and say. We're going to listen to this audio, okay? Just listen to this. Listen and pay attention to the pictures, okay? Track 15. Listen and answer. Then look and say. The vet makes food for the animals. True or false? Okay, look says the vet makes food for the animals. One more time. The vet makes food for the animals. El veterinario hace comida para los animales. False. That's false. And we're going to work. We're going to write the word false. Okay. Let me take the correct tool. It's false. Okay. False. Listen again. The vet helps the mother dog. True or false? Okay, the vet, this vet helps the mother dog. Yes or no? That's true. That's true. The next one, listen. The vet cleans cuts. True or false? 
The bat cleans cuts. The bat cleans cuts. El veterinario limpia heridas. Yes or no? True or false? That's true. That's true. And the last one. Listen. The vet puts bandages on animals. True or false? The vet puts bandages on the animals. True or false? Look at this dog with this bandage on it. That's true. The vet do this. True. Okay. Now, talk about your doctor. <laughs> We're going to talk about your doctor. Look at the boy. And the boy says, my doctor works at the hospital. My doctor works at the hospital. And yours? No, my doctor cleans my cats. And yours? Okay. Some doctors work in hospitals. Other doctors don't do that. Okay. Some doctors work in a hospital. Others who doctors don't do that. They work in, in a clinic. They work, uh, uh, they, they go to your house, okay? I'm going to say that in Spanish. Algunos doctores trabajan en hospital. Otros doctores no lo hacen. Trabajan en clínicas o trabajan a domicilio, hacen visitas a domicilio. Otros tienen este, un consultorio privado. No todos los doctores trabajan en hospitales. Okay. Otros, otros este, viajan por el mundo ayudando a comunidades. Tampoco trabajan en hospitales. Okay. So, we finished the activities of this week. See you the next class. Have a nice day.